Hello everyone, Beat is a Fertie back here again with another how to play today. We're looking at how to play the word game Kitos. Kitos means thank you in Finnis. And it even has a Finnis flag on it. And a Finnis colorway. So it makes me wonder if the creators were Finnis. It is by Matthew Fred Gold and Ludotix. Ludotix, how you pronounce that? So two to four players, 12 and up, anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes. It's a nice box with a magnetic flap. And inside you got a list of letter distribution. All the letters are there except for Q, because it's really hard to spell words with the letter Q. That being said, you can name a word like request or requiem that has a letter Q, which could trip up your opponent. Because there's no key to spell that word up, uh, to spell that word worth. Same thing for a word like bubbles. There's only two B's, and obviously there's three B's in the word bubble. So, you know, you can do something like that. Even, you know, there's, there might be other words as well. So, in the game, you also get some challenge cards. There's eight. If... You think a person is not spelling a real word or is misspelling it, you can throw out a challenge. If and then you could use an agreed upon dictionary or source to check on the word. If you are successful or the word was wrong, then your opponent would have to take this and add it to the negative scoring pile. If your challenge was wrong and they were actually right with the spelling, then you would have to add it. To a negative pile. All players are going to have a positive pile, positive scoring pile, and a negative scoring pile at some point in time, more than likely. You get positive points for completing the word, or for your opponent completing the word that you spelled out, and you will get negative points if you fail to complete the word. Now, these are the rules, the basic rules. A positive pile is worth one point for each card. You have to have a minimum four letter word length, and Tito's, you can add letters to the end of the word only. But after playing around, you can change up the rules, and this, uh, this side, you get a positive pile of times too, and when you do that, you put this little wooden token on there to make sure that you don't inadvertently flip that over again right away. On the other side of this one, you can change it to five letters minimum word length, and this one... You get these super ketos where you can add letters to either end of the word. There's also four special seasoning cards. I'll tell you what they are on the side. Seconds, completos, flip, and squeeze in. And these are for an advanced game to add more rules. This one, when changing the target word, you may place the letter between the other letters. This one lets you flip a letter from the deck to start a new word. Completos allows you to finish a word when setting a target word. Normally, in a game, if you change the word, let's say you change, you change the word, and you're going to play the last card, normally you're not allowed to do that. Like if I change the word to, say, flip, and I'm going to play the P, I cannot complete that word on the... If I just change the, the what the word is. But with this, you can. And in this one, it allows you to play a second letter when not setting the target word. So if you can spell in the word little and you got two T's, it would allow you to play two T's instead of just one. So that's pretty cool. But we won't worry about that. The cards. A nice smooth finish and they got all the letters on there. <clears throat> Each player is going to get eight cards. We'll just do a two-player game. And we will follow the basic rules here. Just bear with me a second. I say it takes about 15 minutes for one round. We're not going to go through a whole round. Hmm. 
And it's a special rule for four players that we won't get into. So each player is going to get eight cards. And we'll put the rest of the cards aside here. Bump this up. And so, let's see how you determine who starts. <laughs> It's a 72 card deck, by the way, plus the other cards. And you're gonna need a paper and pen to score. Oh yes, to determine the first player, you're going to cut the cards. And whoever has the letter closest to Z, that would be me, <laughs> would start the game. So I'm gonna start off by spelling a word. Let's say, I say, rubber. Rubber, like a rubber tire. You can even spell out the word if you need to. This guy cannot spell out the word rubber. So he's going to change it to, let's say, rose. So now I am compelled to either play that letter, the S, if I have an S. Or I have to change the word. And I'm going to change the word to rubber. Uh, he could not spell rubber. He can't spell anything really that I can think of. So he gets to collect these cards as negative points. You play them face down, positive points will go face up. And he gets to add another card. And I get to add two more cards. Since he collected the cards, he gets to start this time. And maybe he's going to say, <laughs> um, clown. Now, I can't do clown. If I had an L, I'd be compelled to play it. But I don't. I'm going to change that to crow. Uh, he's going to change it to crew. Actually, let's change it to creed. And it does not help me. Um, cream. I can do cream. And... He can't do anything with that, I don't think, so he has to take those. Six, seven, eight. It often seems like he played two cards and then that's it, <laughs> which is fine. So he gets to start again. Let's say, note. And I do have an O, so I have to spell that. He's going to spell a T. And E, note. And he's going to say Keto. I spelled his word, so he gets to collect the cards. And he gets to start again. If you are trying to spell that word. You're trying to get your opponent to spell your word so you can collect the points. So far, I don't have any points, which is fine. Whoever collects the cards, of course, gets to start again. So let's say... Oof. Dollar. <laughs> it's all about the dollar, dollar, right? Um, let's change that to... Dense, D-E-N-S-E. -E. Okay. <laughs> and he spell dense. Mm, he can spell density.
Darn it. <laughs> and you keep going around like that. And again, if there's a challenge, and you know, a challenge is a word. And he was right. I spelled it wrong. I would add it to my negative pile. If I was right and he was wrong, he would add to his negative pile. So then when, once you've gone through all the cards that are in the stack, you're going to score up your points. I have currently five negative points. He has seven negative points, four positive points, so there's negative three. So currently, he's winning. He or she. So that's basically how you play Keto's. You go back and forth. I believe they specify you play three rounds. One round is when you go through the whole deck. The game ends when you can no longer draw back up to eight cards. And yeah. So, like I said, whenever you complete a person's word, they're going to say Keto's and they're going to take the points. And, yeah, it's a pretty fun game, in my opinion. There are some... There is a special four-player rule. Which we'll get into... Scores can be and often are negative, as we saw here, both are negative. And whoever has a higher total score over however many rounds you want to play, you can do three, you can do one, is the winner. And there's all sorts of other rules. You can play, the rules you can add. I think it's a pretty cool game. And Kito's for watching this video. That is it for this time. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. I will put a link in the description where you can buy this. Well, actually, you should be able to find it in different card magics, or in different game shops. So yeah, that is Keto's. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Hit the bell, notifications. We'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching.